Hey there, Pip here again. Every day we get DMs and emails asking how to do all sorts of things in Descenders. So, I figured I'd put together a quick video with some of the most common questions I get. Don't forget, if you've got more questions or any guides you'd like us to make, just leave them in the comments below. I'd love to make more of them. Let's first go to our competition winners though. In our last video, we gave away three blue luck sets. And here are our three winners. Congrats to you, we'll be emailing you with your gear very soon. If you didn't win this time, don't panic, we'll be giving away gear here every week. You've just got to keep your eyes on these videos. If there's gear you'd like us to give away, just let us know. It could be your favourites that we give away next. This week, you could win an Invisibike, a whoopee cushion, or a helmet of your choice. Want to know how? We'll let you know at the end of the video. For now, let's get stuck in. One of the questions I get asked the most is definitely, how do I spawn anywhere? There are people respawning halfway through bike out. Are they cheating? Well, no. In Descenders, we've given you two options for checkpoints. You can use the flags that you see on the maps and trails, or you can set your own using the left trigger and clicking in the left stick, or using Shift T on a keyboard. You can use these markers even in the main hub, but be careful, using these on a trail will turn off the normal flags, so you'll have to keep setting your own markers along the whole track. This is particularly useful though if you've got a gap that you've found you really like riding, as it allows you to just ride that over and over again. Okay, this one is really easy to answer, and I've got a great list that the community put together to link you. How do you play bike parks with friends? Well, you set up a multiplayer lobby, password protect it if you want it to be just you and your friends, then set up what seeds you'd like to play on. Each bike park and even the main hub has its own seeds, so here are some of our favourites. If you'd like a full list, head to the video description. I've linked the community built wiki down below so that you can head out to whichever seed you'd like to. So how do I jump that is a pretty vague question, but usually it's one of two main answers. Go slower or take off from a different point on the ramp. The first one kind of speaks for itself, so let's see if I can explain the second one instead. Shout outs to Godless and Burby who sat for hours with me teaching me this when I first started playing. So with each ramp, there are three main areas that you can bunny hop off of that will give you a different kind of jump. It's super difficult to show you, but they feel really different, so make sure you give this a go in your own game. Jumping off of the top will give you just a normal jump. I feel like everybody does this on ramps normally. Bunny hopping in the middle will give you a flatter jump that pushes you out further along the track, so it's perfect for clearing obstacles or bumps after a ramp. The other way is to jump from the very bottom of the ramp, so the second that your front wheel hits the bottom of the ramp, bunny hop at that point and it'll push you higher up into the air once you're off the ramp. More air time means more tricks, more room to express yourself, but make sure you pay attention to your landing because being up higher means you'll have to pump on the way down. I think a lot of people have forgotten about Volcano or maybe aren't even sure it exists. So let me give you a quick rundown of how to unlock our secret world. Getting there is pretty tough, so if you need a guide on how to get there, we'll put one together later on down the line. Don't panic. But, simply, you'll need to find the fire node in each world. This is a hardcore node. Be careful. Complete that, and it'll spawn a ring of fire above the boss jump at the end of the world. Jump through the hope in each world in one run, and after peaks, you'll be popped through to Scary Scary Volcano. Easy, right? Be a little bit careful jumping through those fire rings. They are quite tough and you'll need to jump a little differently to how you normally would. But it's definitely not a world we see used often enough, especially over on Xbox, so make sure you get out there and ride it. No. Okay, okay, look, there's actually a ton of stuff that you can get for free in Descenders without hitting any trails at all. There's a redeem button under extras in the main menu that lets you redeem codes for gear, and there are some real crackers in there, including some shirts showing our lovely folks who picked up Descenders early and really gave it some love. Here are some of my favourites, but again, I'll link the wiki down below so that you can grab yourself some nifty stuff. 
Of course, the other way to get free gear is to win it through us each week. This week, we're giving away an Invisibike to one lucky winner, a Whoopee Cushion to another, and a helmet of your choice to the third winner. The competition is linked in the description below. Go take part, as usual, and thank you so much for joining us today. Good luck, have fun, and we'll see you next week.